Hi, I'm Severo with Hood Time Welding. Back with you today with another review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Vivor portable bandsaw. I've had it for about 10 months now. I've done a lot of cutting on it. You can find it on Amazon for $183.99 right now with 14% off. It's a 110 volt removable base. It's got a 5 inch cutting capacity, 6 speeds, 10 amp motor. Without the base, it, lists at, it can cut 4.7 by 4.7 rectangular stock and then 5 inch round stock. With the base, that goes down to 3.9 by 3.2 inches rectangular and 3.93 inch round stock. Um, the saw is variable speed, so you can see right here, we've got the speed dial on it. Uh, most of the time for cutting metal, I'm leaving it right down at 2. It seems to be a pretty good cut. You also have a light switch, so you have a light shining right down on your piece. Uh, you've got your clamp built in. The nice thing about this clamp is you can see this is sort of wiggling because you can flip it off and take pieces out or put them in. So we'll cut a piece real quick. Like I said, you can just push it forward quick to get it close. Lift your saw up, tighten her down. And we'll cut this piece off quick. So like I said, just loosen it a little bit. And you, you flip that piece up and you pull that right back out of your way so it's easy to get stuff out. The only thing I don't like about the clamp is since it swivels, if you have a short piece that only goes about halfway, you won't be able to lock it in good. You have to have something of the same size to put it in the other side so you can clamp it evenly. Um, if you notice when I was cutting there, I didn't actually push down on it. All I'm doing is just holding the handle enough to pull the trigger. The weight of the saw is enough to go through the material. Um, I usually... I've been ordering the DeWalt bandsaws blades. Uh, they're 44 inches and 7 eighths with 18 teeth per inch. Uh, they come in a three pack for $22.99. Like I said, they're a real nice saw blade. They last quite a while. Uh, I haven't really gone through too many. This one's actually getting a little old, so could have zipped through that a little bit faster. The only thing I don't like about this saw say is your cutting capacity goes down when you cut 45. So there is you take this handle, you can loosen this up and put it out at a 45. And if you look closely, it's sort of hard to see, but the numbers are a little hard to read. You don't have a good point to reference exactly. Um, I put a mark on it with a paint marker to try to help out a little bit. So getting to 45 is not bad because, you know, as long as it's close to 45, most people don't care if it's a tiny bit of gap. But getting it back to zero, it can be a little bit pain in the butt. You know, I'll try to blind that mark up, but then I'll actually come over and make sure my blade's parallel with where the stand is. You can look right down in there and you can pretty much see if it's par parallel. So it makes it a little bit of a pain. I wish it was marked a little bit better with more of a definitive mark instead of that half arrow that they got in there. That's really my only complaint. Um, you take these three screws out right here to take the uh, bandsaw off of the base. I haven't ever done that. I just leave it like this. If I need to cut anything off base, I'll just use my cutoff. Uh, blades change pretty easy. It's, what is it, two or four screws you take out. The, take the plastic cover off and just flip this to tighten and loosen it. So, and they go on real easy. It's not a big deal changing it. I don't even really use the light that much, but it's there if you're in a dark environment. Overall, it's a really good blade. Like I said, I've been using it for about 10 months. I would really suggest if you're looking for one, it's a nice base. It holds stuff well. Um, the only thing is, is if you got long pieces, you're going to need something more. You can see the Harbor Freight stand, roller stand that I reviewed a little while back on my page. I use that all the time to cut stuff with this when it's a longer piece. But again, as I was saying overall, I would definitely buy this saw again. It's been, it's cut a lot of material, no problems. Like I said, the weight of it's more than enough to cut right through it. So thanks for watching. As always, 
And uh, if you like what I have to say, go ahead, subscribe and follow. Ask any comments, I'll answer your questions as soon as I get them. Thanks.